Hey guys, Max here with RC Window Films, and today I'm gonna to show you how to tint your own home windows. Now, one of the best benefits when it comes to window tinting your home is the added heat rejection that you get. But what most people don't consider is the amount of glare it rejects, as well as the amount of UV that it rejects, and it helps really keep your furnishings. So much like you see in this home, there's a lot of wood furnishing, and it prevents the wood from fading. That includes carpet and hardwood floors, and other natural and uh, synthetic materials around the house. With window tinting, you can cut down the amount of visible light that comes in, thereby making it a lot more comfortable inside. You can also have a clear film that rejects just infrared, which is the majority of the heat as well as UV. But window tinting provides a host of benefits and saves you a ton of money. Okay, so you're ready to start tinting your home. So what are some of the tools that you need? Well, first thing you're gonna need is you're gonna need a cleaning squeegee. Cleaning squeegee to clean off the glass. You're gonna need a, a Scotch-Brite blue pad that's non-marring, an Ulfa blade, an installation squeegee, a tape measure, and a hard card. And a little extra, if you wanted a six inch Triumph, you can get that as well. But one of the most necessary things is a spray bottle and some Dawn dish soap and some extra paper towels. We prefer Bounty, but you can go any route that you'd like. So what you're gonna need to do is fill up the water bottle to the maximum fill line. And on this particular one, it's about 30 fluid ounces. And you wanna just have just a tad bit of Dawn dish soap. That should be enough. There was a little bit in there already, but I'd say no more than about two, three teaspoons of Dawn dish soap. Now, once you get it nice and sealed, go ahead and give it a good shake and just try to get that Dawn dish soap and water to fully mix. And once it's fully mixed, set it aside and let's move on to the next step. Okay, so first things first, let's get our windows measured. Let's get the width. We wanna go straight to the edge of the glass now we've got 63 inches exactly. Now we're gonna measure the height, and that measures of 41 inches. So good practice is to always go an inch over. So we're gonna cut a 42 inch height by 64 inch width. So you have a couple options here. You can either go with a 72 inch width material or a 48 inch uh, width material. Just keep in mind that you're gonna need a total of five feet with the 72 inch and you're gonna need a total of 10 feet if you order the 48 inch. All right guys, so we started with a 72 inch roll. That's gonna allow us to get the full coverage and we only have to pull a total of 40, uh, 43 inches. I'm gonna confirm that really quick. Measure twice, cut once. So I can cut to 42 inches because I know that my width is 63. So I can come down to a total of 40. Two inches, let me see if there's a discrepancy. 42, and I'm gonna check this side, 42. So I'm gonna pull 42 out of the 72 inch width, and that's gonna be plenty of film. Okay, so one quick tip is to go ahead and cut the edge of the board right beyond the cardboard itself, and then put a tape measure right there. That way when you're pulling out, you know exactly how far you're coming out. I'm gonna trim off the excess using the cardboard as a guide. I'm gonna fold up my tape and I'm gonna have that be a marker. All right, so that was just about 23 inches. Now I'm gonna go ahead and roll my film. Instead of rolling it all the way out, I like to go in halves. Okay, that's one half. Now I'm gonna go ahead and pull this I'm gonna take my tape measure. I'm gonna set it on where the film is. That way I know how far to go out. That's about right. Pull this away. Now I'm gonna make my final cut. Again, I'm gonna use the cardboard as a guide the edge of it while maintaining just slight tension. All right, so this is when your tape becomes handy. So get a piece of tape, get it cut. Now, I like to set it with the film going this way and then I take this edge and I wrap it over. That way, I don't crease my film going back and I know that I can just simply pull it that way. 
and then set your film aside. We're gonna move on to prep. Right now, I just wanna take off any loose contamination from the window. Now, a quick tip, just so you don't get water all over the place, we're gonna put some paper towels on the edges. We're gonna fold it into fours. We're gonna set it here. You'll see why in a second that that helps out. Okay, so first things first, let's take off the loose debris. I like to start from the bottom. Come all the way to the edge. So we're gonna go ahead and scrape the edges and we're gonna take off any of the paint debris that you see here and along the opposite side. Keep in mind, there is some pretty bad paint work on the outside. Now I'm gonna use my Triumph blade to scrape off all the edges and make sure that all that paint is out of there. A good rule of thumb is try to get your edges first. That's gonna be the majority of the debris. All right, so we've scraped our window edges and we've scraped a lot of the paint that's on the glass. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a paper towel, we're gonna to fold it, get it some, sprayed a little bit. And we're gonna to try to pull all that debris from the corners. As you can tell, quite a bit of debris. All right, so I'm just prepping some towels. Right now, we're gonna start our installation process. So first things first, make sure you have all your tools laid out and ready for you. I've got my film prepped. I've got my water prepped and ready to go. I have my installation squeegee on hand, and I also have my hard car squeegee on hand. I've got some paper towels that I just cut on the side, and that's what I'm gonna to use to bump the edges. So first things first, I like to have the film in hand. Now I'm just gonna spray my glass lightly all the way around, and try to avoid the first two inches, because that's how contamination drops into your film. So just stay here. Don't go all the way to the top. We're just about ready. Now, expose the adhesive of, the, of your roll. What I like to do is take my finger, go on the inside, and roll it up nice and tight. So tighten that roll. A little bit of motion, just like that. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray this side of the film. This is my liner side. So you always wanna keep the liner on the inside. So what we have here is I went ahead and sprayed the inside. This is the liner side. And what I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and roll my film, keeping that liner side on the roll. And now I'm gonna use my teeth in a pinching fashion to expose the adhesive. Now, the edge of my finger is wet, so I'm gonna use it to glide along the edge and expose the adhesive fully. Now, as I pull, as you notice, the liner is being pulled on the back side of the film, which is exactly what we want. Now I'm gonna put my finger to the back one more time, and I'm gonna tighten that up just like so. And now I wanna use my spray bottle since it was on hand and I wanna spray the film so it doesn't cause any contamination or doesn't pull any contamination. Now, we avoided spraying the top. We're gonna to give it one more quick spray. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our film we're gonna grab the edge and then we're gonna use our middle finger to grab the roll. And we're gonna do a quick drop roll. So if I'm holding onto the film by pinching my fingers and I let go of my middle finger, ring finger, and pinky, I'm gonna continue holding the film with my index and my thumb and I'm just gonna let it drop, just like so. Now I'm gonna line up my film I've got quite a, quite a bit of excess, which is good. I have my edges set. Just like so. And I'm gonna line this up to the top. Just like that. And I'm gonna pull it, and I'm gonna move it just past that line. 
It's not a very clean cut because we cut it out of the box. But in doing so, that's also why we kept it. Kept it nice and wet and why we kept it a little bit larger. Now, now I've got my film positioned. What I like to do is I like to tack just the quick center very lightly. You can use either your installation squeegee or you can use your blue squeegee. Now mind you, there's still a liner here and I'm just gonna give it one quick little tap so it doesn't move around on me. Now we're gonna remove the liner. So as you notice, there's a nice clean line here where the liner is. I'm gonna pull this liner off. Just like so. And that's the liner that we pulled off. Okay, now we're gonna take all these bubbles, we're gonna get them moved out of our way, all the big ones. All right, one of the most important steps is to come here, notice all this excess. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the corner and I'm gonna cut a small hole at the frame of the window itself and I'm gonna cut at a 45 degree angle. Now by doing that, it allows me to push this film in without creasing it, just like so. Now I've got my film really well tacked. It's all set, it's not gonna move anywhere. Now I'm gonna spray this side of the film with the liner removed. I'm gonna get it fully tacked with my installation squeegee. So, first squeegee, you should come down and then to the side. All right, and as you've noticed, I didn't do anything with the top because I wanna to get everything removed and I wanna be able to bump it and pull that water immediately so I don't drag any contamination down into the film. Now I'm gonna use my blue card. I'm gonna pinch this edge straight and I'm gonna cut on the corner, cutting at a 45 degree angle. Now I'm gonna use the flat edge of my card as a guide. While dragging my squeegee across. Just like so. One of the things I'm doing here is I'm just removing any of the water after I cut. And I'm just taking the excess water that's on the edges that I didn't squeegee out because I didn't go to the full, all the way to the edge to avoid contamination coming from the seal back into my film. Now this is a pretty crucial part. A lot of people want to really push down the water and get it all to sit right away. It's not going to. First thing you wanna do is leave a little bit of excess water in there on the edges um, as you're squeegeeing. Give it some time to cure and then set it down with your hard card. That way you don't get any contamination that comes back in between the glass and the film. Here's the tricky part. Now we're gonna cut this top edge. I'm gonna run my card parallel. That way I have enough of a gap to not bring any contamination into the film. Now I'm gonna start from this side and I'm gonna drag my blade the opposite direction. 
just like so. Now that I've taken off the film, I'm gonna use one of my pre-prepped paper towels. I'm gonna fold it in four, and I'm gonna use it to press out the water that's up here. And by doing so, I immediately dry that portion of the film, not allowing the water to come back into my film. And as you notice, there's a lot of water built up inside this paper towel. Now I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I'm gonna go over it twice, ensuring that it's nice and dry. Now once you get to here, especially the bottom, grab a new paper towel and repeat that same process, pushing down. If you see any small water bubbles, Depending on where they're at, if they're close to the edge, you go ahead and use your paper towel to push them out. Otherwise, the film will cure over time. And the best thing is, give it a little bit of time, it will certainly dry. All right guys, we just finished up our window tinting project. How'd you do? I've got it completed, I've bumped the edges completely, and I've wiped down the glass to remove any of the excess water that was there. And I just got everything removed. And as you notice, the left side my left looks amazing. The view is actually enhanced. I can see better colors. And on the right side, it's very much blown out and it's letting in a ton of light. Now, you'd be surprised to know that both of these glass units are exactly the same. But now that it has film, this particular unit can reject up to 80% of the heat that's gonna come in. And for the summer, that's gonna be super helpful. It also dims down that light just a little bit while still allowing very vibrant colors inside and out. And we save our eyes by cutting down the amount of UV by 99.9%, .9%, thereby protecting our furnishings and our hardwood floor. So let me know how you did. Put it down in the comments below. And if you need some more tips and tricks, let us know.